So the first activity before uh, we get into the presentation, I want you to visualize being in a boardroom and you're facing five of your, of your different life stresses. So you've got someone sitting to you to your right that is your football and football can at times be stressful, especially if you're having a form slump. Uh, maybe you've had, you're have rehabbing an injury. Uh, you're not getting selected for the side that you want to be. And so whatever the, and then just the natural pressure that internally you have on yourself and, and where your expectations are and how fast you want to develop. We'll start with the social fun element. And this one's really, really important, particularly uh, if you if you are if you've got a busy schedule, maybe you're studying and you're you're at work and you're trying to be the best footballer you can be. Uh, it's really really important that you're dedicating time to having fun uh, and and being social as well with those that are close to you. So then we've got our football stress as our next one, and I alluded to a few of them. Um, the easiest way to work out how you're managing your football uh, demands on yourself is how much are you enjoying the process at the moment? So getting to football training, the actual football training itself, everything you're doing, including the potential training meetings, the reviews, if, that, if that's going on, and of course, the training itself. Then we've got our strength and conditioning stress. So how's your motivation at the moment when you're going into the gym by yourself or maybe with to meet some mates to do your gym program? Um, how are you feeling if you're doing any top up running throughout the week or on the weekends? What's your motivation like to do that? Is it a drag or uh, is it just now something that you, you do with ease? Uh, are you finding yourself going through the motions when you're in the gym? Then we've got our school, uni or work stress. So we want to make sure that we're staying on top of our, of these demands as best we can, because ultimately if you're um, feeling stress going into a game it's going to be on your mind and it's going to distract you from your from being present on the field and it's also going to lead with taking some energy out of your performance going into a game as well so we want to make sure that you're getting into routine with your schooling and you're finding habits and routines that work for you to be able to stay on top of your uh, academic demand or work demand so come game day you can just be relaxed and focus all your energy on the game